Word 210 sections. You can use sections to control the layout within a single page or to control the layout within separate sections through an entire document. You can use sections for all sorts of things. So for instance, you can divide a long document into sections. So you could use headers and footers and have uh, each header within each um, section slightly different. So for instance, in the beginning of the document, you could have a header that read something like chapter one page, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, for chapter two, you could have a header that said chapter two um, and a page number. Chapter three would have a header saying chapter three and so on and so forth. So basically, both headers and footers can be customized so that each item, each header and footer within each section can read slightly differently. So you can have odd and even, and you can have different section headers uh, within uh, each header and footer. Um, there's various other ways you can use uh, chapters. As I say, use sections are especially useful in very large documents, and quite often you use sections without even realizing you're using sections. So for instance, if we bring up a document, Let's say I wanted to select this item, this uh, error text here. And if I wanted to format that for columns, I go to page layout. And then I click on columns, select the number of columns I want. So I'll go for three columns. And you might not even realize you're using columns, but I've actually turned on the show hide command here. So as you can see, you've actually got a column break um, inserted here, a continuous column break, and it ends here. I do that by going to home, and clicking on this so you can show or hide the column uh, the column breaks. So that's an example where you're using color where you're using section breaks without actually even realizing you're using them. Now you need to know a little bit about um, how section breaks work because otherwise you can get yourself into all sorts of mess. So for instance let's say um, I was um, editing this document and if I clicked here to delete this column break look what happens when I press the delete button. Basically that's where the column break now ends. So everything before that, the entire document before this item is in three column format. Everything before that is in one column format. If I just undo to show you that again. So here you are at the moment, I formatted uh, just this section here as uh, three column format. And by clicking here and pressing the delete key, that deletes the column um, break section. And as you can see, all of a sudden my document looks very, very strange indeed. All I need to do in this particular case to fix it is to click here and remove the other column break, the ending one if you like, or what used to be the ending one, and then bingo, everything goes back the way it was. So as I say, you need to know a little bit about column breaks, uh, how to insert column breaks, how to modify them, how to delete them. Inserting a next page section break. Here we've got a typical document, a three page document. And if I click here, at the point at which I want to insert the section break, I can say, right, I've clicked here. I shall now go to um, page layout, click on where it says breaks. And from this section here, I can uh, basically determine what sort of uh, section break I want to install. So for instance, the choices are next page, contiguous, um, even page, odd page. Next page is insert um, a section break and start the new section on a new page. Fairly obvious, really. Continuous means um, inserting a section break and start the new section on the same page. So this, for instance, you might think, well, why would you do that? Well, you've just seen an example of that where um, if you have um, uh, multiple column formatting, for instance, that can be within the same page, but you just simply want part of the page formatted in a different way. Even page, this inserts uh, a section breaks and starts the new section on an even numbered page. Or you can have odd page, which inserts a new section breaks and starts the new section on an odd numbered page. Uh, this is particularly useful for long documents. So let's say you've got um, a long document made up of multiple chapters. Then quite often it might be nice to start each new chapter and force it to start on an odd page. So if um, you didn't have this and you could have the um, new chapters basically starting at odd or even pages. So this is a nice way of imposing a sort of order. So when you start turning over the, the pages of your book, your printed book, the new chapters, they all start on an odd page and it just looks so much better. Anyway, in this particular case, what we're going to do is insert um, a new page uh, break. So we've already decided, we've clicked here to decide where it's going to go. 
we clicked on the um, break button up here if we click on where it says uh, new page not surprisingly after this as instruct as instructed goes on to the new page and because I've got the um, the show hide turned on basically you can see the section break here and sure enough it says section break new page so if you want to insert a new page section break basically it's as simple as that inserting odd page section breaks decide where you want to insert the break so in this particular case I'll say I want it to be here so basically this will be on the first page and after that I want to inf I want to force the uh, the rest of the document onto an odd page so in this particular case I've clicked here to decide where I'm going to insert the uh, section break I go to page layout I go to breaks this gives me my different types of section breaks and in this particular case I want an, uh, an odd page break so I just click on here and sure enough it forces the rest of the document onto the next odd page if you want to insert uh, an even um, page uh, section break if I just undo that we could do exactly the same thing we could click on here we could click on even page and basically it goes on to the next page and down here you can see the type of section break we've inserted changing the section break type here we've got a document containing a number of section breaks as you can see the first one here is a section break odd page over here we have a section break odd page and if we scroll down, there's a number of pages in this document. If we go down to here, we've got um, page three, and then it's leaving to page five because we have a uh, odd break there. So basically, we have page one, page three, page five, and so on and so forth. Now, if I go back up here, if I double click on the section break, then click on layout where it says start section at the moment it's odd page if I click on contiguous and click on OK as you can see that now changes so it's now continuous and on it goes again if I want to change this one here I could change that to something like um, new page and that's now been changed to new page so as you can see, it's very easy to change the, uh, the type of section breaks. Deleting section breaks. Here we have a document, which is a, a multi-page document. If we want to delete this particular section break here, you just simply click before the, uh, the page break. Incidentally, I'm seeing this because I've turned the show hide on. Normally you wouldn't see the, the section break, but if you want to see the section break, you click on Home click on the show hide icon and it then becomes uh, visible so click just before that press the delete key and away it goes you've now deleted the section break similarly if I wanted to delete this one here I click just before it press the delete key and it's gone so now all the section breaks have gone now we've still got one left so again we can delete that that's now gone all the section breaks have now gone. It's a, a document made up of a single section. Changing the page orientation within sections. Here we've got a multi-page document. It already contains some, uh, some sections. So we've got a section here, a section break here, and over here we have uh, the rest of the document, which is in the second section. Now at the moment, the whole, uh, the whole of the document is in portrait. So if I click within the second section here, and if I turn the, um, the show hide on so you can see the section breaks, if I simply go to where it says uh, page layout and change the orientation to landscape, if you notice what happens, the original part of the section stays as it was, which is in portrait, and the rest of it is now in landscape. If I wanted to, I could insert another section break here. So the, maybe the, the rest of the document from here on in, I could uh, insert a, a section break and then change that back to portrait. So this is a nice way of mixing up portrait and landscape orientations within a single document. Very easy to do. If I do it one more time, we just go back to where it was. So here we are, the whole document's in uh, portrait. 
So if I click within the second uh, section break, so that's the first section there, and everything after that section break is the second section. So I can click anywhere on the second section, go to um, orientation, landscape, and as you can see, the rest of the document from the section break onwards is in landscape, and the first bit in front of the section break is in portrait. Changing the page vertical alignment within sections. Again, we've got a sample document here. It's a multi-page document. The first uh, item here is basically just a table of contents. If I click within the table of contents here, I can change the alignment purely within this, uh, within this section. In order to do that, I go to where it says page layout, click on the more button here within the page setup section, click on the layout tab here, and by default the vertical alignment is at the top, so if I want I could center that, click on OK, and it basically means within this section, but only within this section, as you can see the vertical alignment has been changed so it's centered on the page. So if I press Control F2, which is the shortcut for the print preview, as you can see on the first page there, the vertical alignment is uh, centered. But for the rest of the uh, document, if I click here, as you can see, it's, it's normal. So if I just undo that and just repeat how I did that. Here's the document as was. If I click within the section, I want to change the vertical um, alignment of it. I click on page uh, layout. Within the page setup section, I click on the more button. Make sure the uh, layout tab is selected within the page setup dialog box. And from the vertical alignment section, you can just select the, the area you want. So for instance, I could um, align to the bottom, in which case it would look like this. Not terribly useful. If I go back, more usefully, I can say, right, let's go to page layout. Let's align to the center. Click on OK. And that's much more useful. And as I say, always remember that um, keyboard shortcut, Control F2. That's the preview for the. That's the shortcut um, key for the print preview. Changing the margins within sections. Here we have a multi-section document. You can see the section breaks here because I've clicked on the Show Hide icon. If I click within the first section here and go to uh, Page Layout, from there I can click on the margins uh, control here. And I can try different types of margins. So for instance, I could try um, a wide margin. And as you can see, the margins here have been applied to this particular page within this section break, but they're not uh, affected over here. If I undo that and click within the second section break, I could go to um, the margins, apply wide margins here. And as you can see in this case, wide margins have been applied, but it hasn't affected anything over here. Obviously, you can uh, change the um, the margins any way you want. So, for instance, I can have a narrow margin, in which case it looked like that. But again, only the um, the relevant, the active uh, section is, is affected. The previous sections are not affected by this. So that's one of the great things about sections. Basically, you can control items within a section, but it doesn't affect the rest of your document. So as you've seen, you can have um, um, parts of the document uh, within, say, portrait or landscape. Um, you can have sections of the text using multi-column formats. And this is basically why sections are useful.